Sorry, Timothy. Am I hurt? You guys hear me? I forgot I had my headphones plugged in. Let's begin then. My name is Chris, if you don't know me. And we're going to be doing morning prayer starting on page The Lord is in his holy temple, let all the earth keep silence before him. Now on page 79, let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole hearts, we have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are true. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. On page 80. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Uh, the earth is the earth is the Lord's, for He made it. Come, let us adore Him. Now, if you will turn to page eighty-two, we're going to say the Venite together. It's page eighty-two on the page eighty-two. It's a Venite. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Now if you would, flip to, we're going to be saying Psalms 91 and 92 today. So whether it's in your Book of Common Prayer or just your Bible, flip to Psalms 91. Oh, and it's page one, 719, if you're using your book of common prayer. <clears throat> he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High abides under the shadow of the Almighty. He shall say to the Lord, You are my refuge and my stronghold, my God in whom I put my trust. He shall deliver you from the snare of the hunter and from the deadly pestilence. He shall cover you with pinions, and you shall find refuge under his wings. His faithfulness shall be a shield and a bunker. You shall not be afraid of any terror by night, nor of the air that flies by day, of the plague that stalks in the darkness, nor of the sickness that lays waste at midday. A thousand shall fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Your eyes have only to behold, to see the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord your refuge and the Most High your habitation. There shall no evil come to happen to you, neither any plague, any plague come near your dwelling. My mom. For he shall give his angels charge over you, to keep you in all his, your ways. They shall bear you in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the adder, and shall trample the young lion and the serpent under your feet. Because he is bound to me in love, therefore will I deliver him. I will protect him, because he knows my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I am with him in trouble. I will rescue him and bring him to honor. With long life I will satisfy him, and will show him my salvation. Now we we are on Psalm. We are on Psalm ninety-two. If you're lost, Psalm ninety-two. Is it a good, it is a good thing to, thing to give thanks to the Lord, and to sing praises to your name, the Most High, to tell of your loving kindness early in the morning, and of your faithfulness in the night season. Yeah. on the psaltery and on the lyre, and to the melody of the heart. For you have made me glad by your acts, O Lord, and shout for, shout for joy because of your wor the works of your hand. Lord, how great are your works! Your thoughts are very deep. The dullard does not know, nor does a fool understand, that through the wicked grows like, though the wicked grows like weeds, and all the workers of inequity flourish, they flourish only to be destroyed forever. But you, O Lord, are exalted forevermore. 
For lo, your enemies, O Lord, lo, your enemies shall perish, and all the workers of inequity shall be scattered. But my horn you have exalted like the horns of wild bulls. I am anointed with fresh oil. My eyes also gloat over my enemies, and my ears rejoice to hear the doom of the wicked who rise up against me. The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree, and shall spread abroad like the cedar of Lebanon. Those who are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall sit bare fruit, they shall still bear fruit in old age, they shall be green and succulent, that they may show how upright the Lord is, a rock in whom there is no fault. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And now, if you could flip to Ecclesiastes chapter 11, starting at verse 9. Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse 9, up until the end of the end of the book. This is a reading from the book of Ecclesiastes 11.9. You who are young, be happy while you are young, and let your heart give, give you joy in the days of your youth. Follow the ways of your heart, whatever your eyes see, but, but know that for all these things God will bring you into judgment. So then, banish anxiety from your heart, and cast off the troubles of your body, for youth and vigor are meaningless. Remember your Creator in the days of your youth, before the days of trouble come, and the years approach when you will say, I find no pleasure in them. Before the sun and light, and the moon and the stars grow dark, the clouds return after rain. When the keeper of the house trembles, so the strong man stoop, and the grinders cease because there are few, and those looking through the windows grow dim. When the doors of the street are closed, and the sound of grinding fades, and people rise up at the sound of birds, and all their songs grow faint. When people are afraid of heights and of dangers in the streets, when the almond trees blossom and the grasshopper digs itself, drags itself along, and no, a desire no longer is stirred, then people go to their eternal home, and mourners go about the streets. Re remember him before the silver cord is served, and the golden bowl is broken before the pitcher is shattered at the spring, and the wheel broken at the well. And the dust returns to the ground it came from, and the spirit returns to the God who gave it. Meaningless, meaningless, says the teacher. Everything is meaningless. Not only was the teacher wise, but he was, also, he was imparted knowledge to the people, pondered and searched out, and sent, in, since, sent order in many proverbs. The teacher searched to find just the right words. What he wrote was upright and true. The words of the wise are like goads, and their collected sayings are firmly embedded nails, given one shepherd, given by one shepherd. Be warned, my son, of anything in addition to them, of making many books. There is no end, of, and much study wears the body. Now all has been heard, and here is the conclusion of the matter: Fear God and keep His commandments. For this is the duty of all mankind. For God will bring every deed into judgment, including every hidden thing, whether it is good or evil. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now, we'll turn to page oops, 86. It's at Canticle 10. Page 86, we'll say Canticle number 10. Mm -hmm. 
Seek the Lord while he wills to be found. Call upon him when he draws near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the evil ones their thoughts, and they will turn to the Lord, for he will have compassion, and to our God, for he will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as rain and snow fall from the heaven, and return not again, but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread for eating, so is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me empty. It will accomplish that which is have purpose and prosper in that for which I have sent it. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And now we will be reading from Galatians. Start on page, what is it? Galatians 5.25 up until 6.10 is a reading from the book of Galatians 5.25 since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking and envying each other. Brothers and sisters, if someone is caught in a sin, you who live by the Spirit should destroy that person gently. But watch yourself, or you may also be tempted. Carry each other's burden, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. If anyone thinks this, there is something when they are not. They deceive themselves. Each one should test their own actions. Then they can take pride in themselves alone, without comparing themselves to someone else. For each one should carry, up, carry their own load. Nevertheless, the one who receives instructions in the world should share all good things with their instructor. Do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man reaps what he sows. Whoever sows to please the flesh, from the flesh will reap destruction. Whoever sows to please the Spirit, from the Spirit will reap eternal life. Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Therefore, as we have an opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially those who belong to the family of believers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now, we can turn to page 90, 93, and we are going to say, Canticle 17 together in the Book of Common Prayer. There's a song of Simon. Canticle 17 on page 93. Lord, you have now set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Right. And now we will turn to Matthew, chapter 16. Matthew, chapter 16, verses 21 through 28. reading according to the Lord Jesus Christ from Matthew. From that time on, Jesus began to explain to his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things at the hands of the elders, the chief priests, and the teachers of the law, and that he must be killed on the third day and be raised to life. Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. 
Never, Lord. This shall never happen to you. Jesus turned to Peter. Get behind me, Satan. You are a stum stumbling block to me. You do not have in mind the concerns of God, but merely human concerns. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. Whoever who wants to save their life will lose it. Whoever loses their life for me will find it. What good will it be for someone to gain the whole world, yet forfeit their soul? Or what can someone give in exchange for their soul? For the Son of Man is going to, co to, come, is going to come in the Father's glory with his angels, and then he will reward each person according to what they have done. Truly I tell you, someone who is standing here will not taste death before they see the Son of Man coming into the kingdom. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now we can turn to page 96 in the Book of Common Prayer, and we'll say the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day He rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And now on the prayers on page 97. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy. Oh, sorry. this is the suffrages, eh? Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. And now at this time, if anybody has prayer requests, please send them in the chat or in the comments. I'm going to be saying the, the canticles, not the canticles, the collects. But any prayer requests, please submit them in the chat. O oh God, from whom all good proceeds, Grant that your inspiration may think those we may think those things that are right, and by your merci merciful guiding may do them. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O mighty God, whose most dear Son went not up into joy, but first he suffered pain and endure not into glory before he was crucified. Mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth, and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold, Pour out the Spirit upon all flesh, and hasten the coming of your kingdom. To Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Oh.
Father God, I thank you for, I thank you for today. I thank you for uh, just my family, my work, friends. Um, Lord, I thank you that you have given us the opportunity to meet here today to worship you. I pray. Uh, I pray for um, healing for Warnell or Warnell, who has a kidney failure, and he's waiting for. He's a kidney failure. Failure. I can't read English, and he's waiting for a donor. And I pray that you give him peace. I pray that the donor would would end up coming, Lord. I pray you protect him. I pray for uh, Cheryl, who has a um, meeting coming up with her boss. I pray that you, I pray that you help her, give her the words, give her the wisdom. I pray you remove her anxiety, so that no matter what happens, you are in control, Lord. And I'd like to give Thanksgiving that. Um, Cheryl's grandson Christopher had a s successful brain surgery and that the tumor was not cancer. Lord, I'd like to pray for um, my youngest brother, my dad. I pray, we had a, an argument yesterday. I pray you, you help them. I pray you help both parties give, give the forgiveness and uh, just the understanding. <clears throat> Lord, I pray for, I pray for my coworkers. I pray that you would, especially for uh, Ricardo, I pray that you would help them keep working, help them provide. Give them the, give them the perseverance, Lord, give them the strength. And Lord, I pray, I pray for Epiphany Church as we start opening up. Um, I pray that you would show us a way, a safe way to start church service, to worship you, to come together. Um, and I pray for those in charge, I pray you give them wisdom, especially Mother Betsy, with all the clergy and the staff. And I pray for my friend Millie, I pray you protect her. And I pray all these things in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, if we could turn to page 101, I will, we will say the general Thanksgiving together. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. And uh, now on page 102, the prayer of St. Chrysostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. 
Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right. Thanks. Thank you all for joining, and I will see you all next week.